Major Slack Videos. You can't get me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I am not making a scene. That's it? Okay, I thought you were gonna talk some more. Hey, how y'all doing? My name is Major Slack, and thanks for uh, thanks for coming back. And uh, I'm a poet, and I don't know it. Uh, let's continue our walkthrough of Outer Worlds. We are here in front of the medical bay. Why did the door shut behind me? A reminiscent of the southern mission that we're gonna do in Stellar Bay. Okay, I thought it was locked in. Okay, no problem. It's all cool. It's good. It's all good. A um, couple of missions to take care of here in the medical bay, and then we're pretty much done with uh, the groundbreaker. Number one, let's start with Ellie. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? See, Umfuru? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. So, what's this about your friend? Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. Oh. I just owe her, okay? Oh, okay. As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Oh. That's strange. Maybe I can look in on Jesse. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. Okay, make sure you got your dialogue suit on. Namely, the protective clothing with safety harness with the silver tongue kit installed and your nice hat. All right, we're gonna go into restricted area here. So we're gonna have to use a little bit of our um, holographic, uh, what you might call the thingamajig down this way and push the button to talk to Jesse. I gotta hear that again. What did she say? For the last Raptodon rut in time. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, listen up. Ellie sent me. What? Why? Yeah. Everything's fine. We're all fine here. No need for her to be worrying her pretty little head about me. I'm just terrible, dreadful sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. Highly, lethally contagious. But I'll be fine, so long as I'm left alone. Wow. That doesn't suck. That doesn't sound suspicious one bit. Okay, we'll just leave you alone. No, just open the door before I kick it down. <laughs> Should have known she'd send a bruiser after me. Damned if I don't rue the day I saved her scrawny little hide. Inadvertently, I befriended a bloodhound in the process. All right, okay, we can discuss this like the level-headed folk that we are. Seems I've got to do something before Ellie goes jabbering my business to anyone with one ear and an intent to listen. Okay, make sure you don't move around too much so you don't use up your holographic thingamajig. And you there, talk. The truth is, I'm not sick. Yeah, But okay. if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? No, no. See, hey. I owe them. A lot. Oh. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So, I hold up here to lay low. I see. Um, Ellie asked me to help you, so that's what I plan to do. Udon Bedford's the board guy on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. All right. Lucky for you, Udom's a good buddy of ours, so I'll I'll talk to him for you, okay? Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. Yeah, don't thank me yet. We'll or see I how guess it goes. I should say Ellie is one, huh? Twelve thousand XP. Can we take your stuff? No way. Eh? Not even for like helping you out. Okay. So out we go. Keep your dialogue suit on. And over to Halcyon Holdings. Right over there. I'm gonna have to pass a persuade check. I think it's only 20. Could be this random though, let's see. How do you do? How do you do? Huh. How might I assist you? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm here about Jessie Doyle. I want her debt settled. Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. 
Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. Okay, I'll tell you what. Um, she's worth more alive than dead. Put her, like, you know, under an indenture contract or something like that. You can do that. That's not unreasonable. No, it's not. What guarantee do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate? Well, the way I see it, she doesn't have much choice. I quite concur. It's refreshing to deal with someone practical for a change. <laughs> well, that's me. I will recall my collection agent. Tell Miss Doyle to report to me promptly for her first assignment. <laughs> now, is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? No, you're good. We're good. Ta-ta now. And we are just short of leveling up again. Another 11,000. Okay, so back to medical bay. And we now are returning to Ellie. Wish I could say it was good to see you, Ellie. At least you finally got your chance to square our debt. That ought to make you smile for once, huh? Nothing makes me happier than being even. Okay. Being right. That's nice too. I like to hate to interrupt this like estrogen. The good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Tell you what, I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off. Okay, just a little advice. If you want to promote yourself as a medic, don't call yourself sawbones. <laughs> That's like the old west, you know? Uh, are you saying you work for me just because I help Jesse? If I'm being honest, and I prefer not to, I was about ready to pick up another contract anyway, and you settled this in a pretty tidy fashion, which tells me you're competent. But we can say I'm repaying the favor if you prefer that version. Okay, and the long and short of this, this is she becomes your companion. She's a, a selectable companion. So basically, welcome aboard, Ellie. You won't be sorry. Or if you are, just add it to my debt and we'll figure something out. Wow. Hey, she seems like really <laughs> agreeable. How shall we say? And we leveled up. And as you see, we now have a companion, but we're not playing with companions. So let's just talk to her Something again on your mind? and send her back to the ship. Okay. See you around. Okay. Wait there for me. And don't fire your, fire your guns in the hold, okay? Um, we leveled up again. Excellent. I know exactly what I want to do. I want to put points, start working on stealth again. So, get sneak up to 50, and if we put more points in stealth, the sneak is just going to stay at 50 unless we put points strictly in sneak. But I want to get, I want to bump up hack and lockpick as well. So let's just keep putting the other five points into stealth, bump up hack and lockpick. There we go. Accept, and that's that. Done and done. Now. Uh, hello. Hello. June Lay called up from engineering, said I should let you buy medical supplies from our stores. Now, is there something I can help you with? Um, let's just see. A better see. selection than you'll find on the promenade deck, and a quality commensurate with a friend of the station. I don't know, Doctor, your selection looks pretty thin. Anyway, we're gonna have to pass. <laughs> okay, and this is whom we want to talk to. Dr. Wanda Dorset. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Alright, what's going on? I'm expecting our delivery fellow to stop through with medical supplies and service auto mechanicals. Name's Captain Erion. A brave idiot with a penchant for getting himself delayed. Sometimes by dates, usually by bandits. Alright, um... Tell you what, I could try to find him. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla. Scylla. An asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. 
You look out, though. A place is probably crawling with outlaws. No problem. We're accustomed to outlaws. We are outlaws. All right, so back to the ship. We got our standing orders. Go to the asteroid named Scylla and hunt down this individual. This is solution vital. Find Captain Irion. Pick up any more strays while you were out? I suppose if the crew's quarters fill up, we could hang hammocks in the cargo hold. <laughs> bitch, bitch, bitch. All right, here we go. Scylla. Destination reached. Scylla. All right, we're going to take a little nap because we're tuckered out from our journey. Feeling, feeling a little jet lag. There we go, that's taken care of. Now we're going to have something to drink. Let's sort this up here. There we go. Uh, I got way too much booze on board. I don't need all this booze. Let me just go upstairs and... Keep a little bit on board. Okay, here we go. Looks like we're out of purple berry punch. Okay, so we're now working on the dehydrated water tablets. <laughs> what a concept. And a couple of apples to nosh on and we're good. I've shut off the visual feed from my ocular inputs in the captain's quarters. So you're free to disrobe whenever you'd like. Oh, how comforting. Anything need a spit shine. You are good. You are acceptable. Haven't been using you much lately, and that is good. Very good. No companions. We're going solo. And we're going to make a kind of a a speed hike across the land all the way over there 287 meters yonder to find Captain Irian. Tell you what, do we have one of those speed demon thingies? Yeah, one of these things. Stimulotion. Okay, as soon as we get to the bottom we're gonna take one of those. And race on over there. And let's put on our combat gear. I meant to tinker this. Okay, remind me to do that as soon as we get back. All right, Speedy Gonzales. Arriba, arriba, andale, andale. I just got that from a Bugs Bunny cartoon. I don't even know if I'm saying anything. Saying anything really Spanish. Um, okay, so here we are. <laughs> Let's find the weak links in the chain. Take them out first. And then we'll work our way in. All these guys gotta go. Starting with... You. Okay, let's go back around the other way. Anybody get suspicious? They look a little suspicious. Let's just get behind here until they calm down, calm down, calm, calm, Fair calm. Warning, outlaw. I've got a daring escape plan. Here we go. You are gonna love it. Physical activity discouraged. Multiple injuries detected. Would you like another suppository for the pain? Way to kill the moon. I'm fine. <laughs> Perfectly fine. Save your meds for these ruffians once I'm done with them. <laughs> Wait, to kill the moon. Wait, now I need to a suppository? Um, 
Where is the flamethrower? Yeah. Symptoms okay. of delusion detected. Administering medication. Awesome. Quick and painful. Okay, everybody give it up. Captain Dude, what say you? Tremendous work, friend. Here I was readying a daring maneuver, and you've come and saved me the trouble. Symptoms detected. Elevated heart rate. Dilated pupils. Increased sweat production. Subject appears to be terrified. I'm not terrified, you bucket of bolts. That's victory sweat. Sounds like he's doing a Cary Grant impersonation. <laughs> Judy, Judy, Judy. Let me tell you, I'm not terrified. That's just the, that's just victory sweat. <laughs> okay, Captain Erion, I take it. The one and only. The one and only. Hey, wait, who's asking? Wanda didn't send you, did she? No, no, I don't. I don't know Wanda. Do you know Wanda? Wanda? What Wanda? I wager she told you to say that. The yeah, sly you got old me. Bird. You got me. I swear. Land on Groundbreaker even a moment tardy, and that busybody's already been up your ass an hour. <laughs> you tell her these Automechs are coming, and sending a hired stooge to rescue me from certain peril only furthers my delay. No offense. Nah, yeah, none taken. Um, let's now let Wanda know her shipment's on the way. Magnificent. And do please give Wanda my chilliest regards. Okay. Ta-ta now. See you in the funny papers. Or shall I say, pip pip cheerio and all that sort of jazz. That's it. Back to the unreliable. Back I'm back. Space adventuring is back to the round breaker to turn in. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. And looks like we could use a little hydration. We'll be here, Captain. Oh yeah, and he gave us Irian's flintlock, which is not that great. It's kind of like a burst fire pistol. It burst fires like two at a time. This thing right here. It's really not that great. I, t I tried tinkering it up and taking it into combat and doing some um, field testing on it. I really don't like it. Oh yeah, it's supposed to have like bonus head spot, headshot damage. Big bonus to weak spots, weak spot damage. I didn't see anything special about it, even after I tinkered it up to snuff. So I'll probably gonna, I'll probably maybe just keep it for uh, just for good measure. Knock you out, Were I a gambling woman, I'd wager you're responsible for my mechanical safe return. I can't thank you enough. All right, well, you wager correctly, and that is that mission done.
You see, Jesse, this is why you're in debt. Always slacking off. And that's pretty much it for the groundbreaker. Let's start working on the Stellar Bay missions. There is a ton of missions to do right in town. And most of it involves um, dialogue. So we've been engaging in a lot of combat lately. It's time to get our talk on. Um, so, to Stellar Bay. We're now in orbit of a Stellar Bay, Captain. Let me just take a little news and get ready for this big uh, adventure in town. Very good. Boy, I'm going through these fast. And a couple of these. And we are all ready to rock and roll. Carry away is respectable. That is it, one. Thank you all very much for watching. We are here in Stellar Bay, and we're going to take, like I said, take care of a ton of things here in town. Yeah, lots of running around to do, lots of dialogue. We're going to learn all about Stellar Bay and um, what's going on in there. I want to thank you all very much for watching, and if you thought this video was remotely entertaining and or informative, well, you know what to do. Yeah, give me a thumbs up, and uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my videos, and I will see you next time. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.